Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about feminine hygiene again, but this time we're gonna go a little bit more deeper, deeper in there. This is going to be awkward, graphic, and somewhat uncomfortable if you're not used to talking about your body or hearing somebody talking about their body like I'm going to be talking about my body. So if you're uncomfortable with any of those things, I'm gonna give you a second, do what you gotta do, go somewhere else this video might not be for you. I'm still learning my body, I'm still learning how to take care of it, and I'm still learning the best ways to do certain things, even as a 25 year old adult, so don't feel bad. I actually got a couple questions. Um, if you guys don't know, I have an ask email address, ask at victoriaslogan.com, it's gonna be on the screen. Um, and you guys can actually email me your questions if you have questions that you really don't wanna ask online, that you may be a little bit too nervous or shy to ask in front of thousands and thousands of people. Not everybody's comfortable with talking about their vagina. I'm comfortable with talking about mine, so that's why I'm here to help you. Recently, I got my period and it was really, really heavy. Now I never usually get heavy periods, so that's why I, this was like throwing me for a loop. And I needed some new kind of protection down there because I mean, this was not what I was used to. Quite honestly, tampons are uncomfortable. I just find that my body doesn't really like them. They don't really work for me. They make my cramps worse. Most of them contain toxic chemicals in them to make your period last longer so that you buy more the audacity. I had seen some other people talking about the flex, talking about soft cups, talking about diva cups. A lot of people have told me about the diva cup and that I should try it. Um, and I never really had a reason to until now. I actually have my diva cup in right now. I'm towards the end of my period right now and my period is actually like phasing out. I'm still wearing the diva cup just for protection. Um, but I did try the diva cup for two days and I've been trying the soft cups for two days. This video is basically gonna be telling you guys about my experience with the soft cups, diva cups, my thoughts about them, what I like about them, and why I'm never gonna wear tampons again. Yay! Diva Cup is an actual cup. Um, it comes in a box like this, and you get a little carrying case with it, super cute. So I started off with these, and the main differences between the two in their technology, this is more of a disc. So it's a collection disc. Now I know some of you have probably seen the Flex Cup, and the Flex and the Soft Cup, let me just clarify, are the exact same thing they do the exact same thing. The only difference between the two is that you can order the, the Flex online as a subscription and get them every month as opposed to going to the store and buying a box of them. I got them in a box at the store because I needed them right away. But if you don't mind waiting a day or two, you can just order the Flex online and have a subscription and that way it comes in when you need it. For me, I just like to be able to jump up and get what I need just when I need it. This is what they look like in the box comes in a purple wrapper. And you're supposed to keep this wrapper so that you can throw the one that you're wearing away. These are disposable. Um, that's another major difference between this and the Diva Cup is the Diva Cup is not disposable. You keep the Diva Cup and you wash it um, so you don't have to throw anything away. You're saving the environment, blah, blah, blah. I feel like you can use them more than once during one period cycle. With both of these protection cups, they're made out of non-toxic, hyperallergenic materials. So they aren't going to harm your body in any way, shape or fashion. No chemicals are going to cause cancer or anything like that. So that's where we've got a leg up on the tampons already. Um, but yeah, it's got this like this bubble down here it's not even like regular plastic I don't know if you guys can see but this looks like netted material it's not necessarily like saran wrap or like any other plastic that's really easy to puncture you are supposed to fold it you're supposed to fold it like this pinch it and then you start sliding one end into your vagina so here's your vagina hole you're sliding it in there like so, and you stick it all the way up. As I was sliding it in, I'm thinking, okay, this is it's sliding in pretty easy. It wasn't painful, it didn't hurt, because obviously your walls of your canal are pretty moist at this point. The thing with the Diva Cup and with the Soft Cup is that if you're not comfortable touching yourself and getting your hands a little bit dirty, you're probably not gonna like this, because when I first tried it, I was very disgusted at myself. I was like, ugh, like, I'm getting, blood all over my hands this is disgusting like I feel like Macbeth right now like the blood on my hands I'm trying to get it up in there right and I'm pushing and I'm pushing and I'm pushing and then all of a sudden it's like and I just I didn't even have to keep pushing it like it just kind of like shifted into place on its own and I couldn't feel it anymore I was looking around like 
where to go. I don't know if I should be happy or scared right now that I don't feel anything. I wiped around down there just to make sure everything was clean, got everything off of me. I cleaned my dirty finger because it was disgusting. And I stood up and I'm like, Oh my God, it's lost in my body. What is it doing in there? I put a panty liner down just to make sure. After a couple hours, I went back and checked my panties again just to make sure there was nothing there and there was no leaking. Already, I'm a little bit intrigued because one, it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't hurt, there's no pain, there's no awkward feeling like I have to pee, feeling like I have to push something out. All of a sudden, my cramps started dying down. They weren't as bad and I didn't feel so heavy and like, ugh, you know what I mean? So I checked a couple hours later still no leaks i went to the bathroom i peed no leaks the only time i noticed a little bit of leaking was when i pooped because i think that's because you're straining on the toilet and it kind of shifted the muscles down there so i think that's that may be the only time when you do notice a little bit of leaking is when you're pooping or doing something really really strenuous where you're like bearing down you know um but i didn't notice any leaking at any other time it's really good for if you're active or if you do a lot of running around all day this is going to be perfect for you because you won't have to worry about taking it out girl you can do the splits you can do some flips you can do gymnastics you can kickbox you can do whatever you want to do with this in there and it ain't going nowhere and you're not going to leak but one of the main claims that makes this different than the diva cup or any other menstrual cup is that you can wear this during sexual activity so it claims that you can wear it during sex i did not try it i did read some reviews and watch some videos of some people who did have sex while they were using it and they said that it did fine didn't move and after you know putting it in and kind of feeling around and finding where it is i feel like they would be able to feel it but it probably wouldn't feel any different than the actual pubic bone that it's hiding behind your vaginal canal is like straight and then it goes up into like this bone right here right so this goes past that and it hides behind the bone so it's like sitting kind of like this and so like it's not gonna move basically so it's blocking the whole canal down here where like the opening of your vagina is i'm trying to draw a diagram i'm <laughs> put a diagram on the screen or something so you guys can see it because not doing a very good job even though he's going up in there if he's gonna slide past it he's just gonna glide right past that sucker um you may probably have to just keep some towels down just in case if you do plan on having sex with this in because i feel like it may shift a little bit if you're a little too crazy for the most part i feel like it would be pretty comfortable because you can do pretty much everything and not feel it like i didn't feel anything and it made me feel so much better about the fact that i was actually on my period you have to take it out every 12 hours i took it out around the night hour because I had to go to bed. My first time removing it was really stressful. It was definitely a murder scene. Every other review that I've watched of this, nobody said that I, my hand was going to be this bloody. Like it was disgusting. I had to use two fingers. It took me about five minutes. Um, after 12 hours, I needed to change it again. So this time I was like, okay, I'm going to do the shower. I'm going to see how it works in the shower because I don't have any gloves. I feel like it would work better if you had gloves, but I didn't have any. So I was like, I'm going to go in the shower and see how that works. So I got in the shower and I put one leg up on the wall. It says it's just supposed I feel awkward because you're in here now. But just disregard everything I'm talking about. You're supposed to use one finger. So using one finger didn't work for me because it's like slippery. So like it kept like slipping and I couldn't really get a grasp on it. So I had to use two, my pointer finger and my thumb. And I had to like kind of go behind the bone and like grab it out and slide it out, you know? But it didn't hurt when it came out or anything. So that's good. But I will say that the shower is a lot better because that way you can just rinse as you're going. And that way there's no like huge mess or anything. Because if you're out, at the mall or something in the bathroom. This is not gonna be something you're gonna wanna do in the bathroom. I just feel like you're gonna need a lot of space to spread your legs and stuff. At any rate, it was a lot easier in the shower. So because you can wear this for 12 hours, I feel like you should use that to your advantage. If you're gonna be wearing these, you should like put it in in the morning and then take it out at night in the comfort of your own space at home. You can rinse it off while you're in the shower and then re and put it back in and use it again. Um, I feel like they're reusable because it's still intact. It's not like it's torn up or anything, so you can use it again. It's just a lot easier if you just pop it back in. Yeah, that was my first impression on these. I was really impressed and I'm like actually really happy about it. It just relieved so much of the stress that was on my body because I feel like regular like tampons and stuff put so much stress on your body like it's stressful i'll literally be sitting down in public places like 
upset at the world because something's in there, you know what I mean? But this felt a lot more comfortable and I didn't feel so angry. The Diva Cup is a little bit different with its insertion technique. The cup is round, you just fold it in half and you push it in and then you turn it to make sure that it has locked into place and the suction has like sealed to your walls. So both the Diva Cup and the Soft Cup have the same type of material to where it warms to your body temperature. You can't really feel it because it just feels like your own body. This is one of those products that actually sits in the like canal of your vagina situated where a tampon would be. Honestly, I have it in right now. I'm shifting around and everything and I don't feel it. Um, when I first put it in, I definitely could feel something, but then once it was in there and I stood up and I walked around and kind of warmed up to my body, I didn't feel anything. Uh, so it's 100% silicone, so that means that it's not going to hold back and harbor bacteria like other materials do. Eco-friendly, economical, reusable, uh, and it has leak-free protection for 12 hours at a time. What I like about this one is that you don't have to go so far back to pull it out, so the removal process is a lot easier. I don't know, I didn't really necessarily like this as much as the soft cup. I feel like the soft cup did a better job of not being there. When I'm walking around, I can't really feel it, but I know it's in there. Cause like if you sneeze real hard or something, it kind of is like, oh, it's still in there. It is undetectable. It is comfortable to wear. I didn't have any problems with it. I just like the idea of this one better simply because I can do whatever I want. So if I didn't tell my husband that I was on my period and I wanted to do it, I could with this. Um, but I'm an honest Abe and I have to tell him stuff. So it's a toss up. They're both better than tampons for sure. But like I said, me personally, I like this one. I don't know, I just, I felt like for me, this is the way to go. The main point of this video was just to encourage you guys to try them because I mean, I feel like it's made such a huge difference in the way that I feel during my period. It's, it's made me feel better, it's made me feel safer, and you don't feel disgusting all day because it's being blocked. That just makes me feel so much better about life. My cramps aren't as bad, my body is happy, I'm happy, um, and, and, and potentially my man can be happy too if the price is right. Oh yeah, price difference. That's what I needed to mention, price difference. Number one, don't buy this in stores. Do not buy this in stores. This is sold at CVS. I saw this at CVS. I saw it when I got this. This is a box of 14 and I got this for like $20, $20 I believe. I got this for $20, $23 on Amazon because at CVS it was $40. So depending on where you live, the price may vary, but I would definitely suggest priming this, Amazon priming this, because it'll be a whole lot cheaper on your pockets, okay? Um, so don't buy this in the store. Also, this comes in two different sizes, so be aware of that as well. One of the sizes is for women who have had children um, or who are over the age of 30. So just keep that in mind as well. Even though I talked to my mom, and I hope she doesn't mind me sharing this, but I talked to my mom about this because she had tried it before me. From what she was saying to me, it sounded like hers was too big and it was uncomfortable for her. Um, she still probably needs a smaller one. Figure out what it is that your body needs um, because you don't want to get one that's too big because it will be uncomfortable. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that it was helpful to you. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a gynecologist, I am not a nurse practitioner, none of that. I am just a regular degular schmegler girl who's trying to figure out her body, okay? And as I'm going along, I'm finding things that I like and I wanted to tell you guys about these two and my experience with them because I was very excited and after having a whole conversation with my Twitter fam about which one I should get, we, we had a whole discussion about it and, and so I wanted to give y'all the verdict on what I thought and how I felt about it. So yeah, that's my first impressions on menstrual cups. If you um, guys want to send me an email and let me know what you want me to talk about next, please, please, please do not hesitate to do that. I wanna help you guys. Okay, if nobody else is here for you, I'm here for you. I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you and I'll see you soon.